we're getting to that point yep 195 that'll do it for that particular trade <laughs> What's going on? It's Ryan here, CEO and head quant at Happy Trader. We're going to take a trade long on the NASDAQ. We have an uptrend signal. We have a buy signal in place, and we're starting to carve out our green Aluma trend very slowly after a period of consolidation. Just a quick spot check while we're entering our trade, looking at the market. And surprisingly, the S&P 500 is leading the NASDAQ 100, and that means that the broader markets to the ups today. Now, if we look at our ultra speculative assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, things like that, those are crawling up a little bit. So when we get this uptrend signal on the one minute chart, and you can look at any time frame with happytrader.io, sentiment AI with Lumatrend, which is how we're trading. So now you see it, now you don't, now you see it again. And you can just see a lot of what already did happen with this oscillation. But when you turn on the indicator, you can really see what's going on. So we're going to be using Happy Trader and just using that as our guide for today's trading. It's really as simple as that. So you can jump around to different time frames. See that, for instance, on the five minute, we had a buy signal and then an uptrend. And then we do have some carving upward of this Aluma trend. And we had a lot of consolidation in this area here. Looks like we're starting to potentially break out of that back to the upside. So for us, that's good news. Now, if we were to go down, there's two things that we can do. Technically three, we can delta hedge, meaning if we get to break even, we could just hedge our position, meaning either stop out the position or just reverse the position or add a correlating position to the opposite side of things. You can take, for instance, the NASDAQ long, you could take the MNQ 10 contract short, you could take the ES long, you could skew to the upside of where the market's going with the NASDAQ, which tends to be the bigger performer, but you have to watch out for the gapping between the NASDAQ and the SPX. And generally speaking, if you're gonna run a skew type of hedge with futures using the NASDAQ and the ES, it's really important to make sure that you know how far out the NASDAQ is compared to the SP because today's a little bit of an outlier in the fact that we are just sitting here with the SP above the NASDAQ, which is not very common at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead uh, with that being said and just take a look at some different time frames here and just see what we're looking at. And when we go to each time frame, you can see our entry point down here. And you can take a look at multiple time frames and really see a lot of volatility. You can see on the 30 minute time frame, if we were to get down a little deeper to a value area low, that would be beneficial. So we could load back up on this trade uh, because we had an uptrend signal and then a buy signal, which looks like it's gonna be explosive to the upside. So let's go ahead and keep an eye down here. Right now we're looking at 2.07 PM on a Thursday, February 1st, 2024 and the market is just doing its thing and churning and grinding and consolidating as we start to make moves in the market, which is super duper normal. So we're gonna go ahead and um, just close this trade out. We're getting to that point. Yep, 195, that'll do it for that particular trade. Now, what we can do is we can look, go over what we did there on that trade. And what we did was we saw that we had an uptrend signal as our most recent signal, but where was the buy, right? So we didn't have the buy signal, but we knew that there was a potential for this big explosive candle. The thing is, we don't know if we're gonna double top or we're going to completely break out. Now, if I had to guess, there's a lot more amplitude in this move to the upside, and we're probably gonna keep moving to the upside, but when you're trading, you have to have a feel for when to take profit, and I personally like to take profit selling into strength, but you can see that when we had our uptrend signal, which was our trading signal, we could have simply set an alert using Happy Trader. It would have came directly to our phone, our app, our computer, whatever we're trading on, and we would have been on call or ready or prepared for this buy signal to come up and potentially have a lot of amplitude behind it to the extent that it could be a breakout of the range. So if we just drop the range down, you can see a lot of oscillation. You get that funky uptrend signal right off of a failed downtrend signal with a flattened out Aluma trend there in red indicating weakness. And then you start getting a cascading up uptrend signal, which we decided to just take that profit 
call it a day. Now, if we were to reset the chart view again, you can see that that move is a continuation move. So we left a little bit, if not a lot of it on the table. But again, risk management to the downside, hedging, and then profit taking are things that you're going to have to dial in based on what works for you. Happy Trader is a tool that's designed to give you an edge on potential market direction. So that's going to be where we're at. And you can see the green candles are slowly building up and it does look like we probably will break out of this range, but that's going to be today's video. Again, my name's Ryan, CEO and head Quan here at happytrader.io. Have a great day. Good luck and happy trading. And it looks like we're getting a breakout. Have a great day.